Now, a preposition is usually a short word used to link nouns, pronouns, or phrases to other words within a sentence. Have a look at the example below. If I'm not mistaken, her birthday is in May. Now, the word in in this sentence is a preposition, and it is used to link the word or the noun May to her birthday. Now, there are many types of prepositions. Among them are prepositions of manner. Now, they are used to express the manner in which something is done. We usually use prepositions of manner when we answer the question beginning with how. Have a look at the example over here. How did she lose weight? She lost weight by exercising. The preposition of manner by expresses the manner in which she lost weight. Now, there are several groups of prepositions of manner. A. In and with. In and with are used to describe the way in which something is carried out. It's in the examples below. She left the stage in tears. She was singing with tears in her eyes. B. By. By is used to denote either a person or a means of transportation, while with denotes an instrument. Have a look at the examples below. This house was built by my grandfather, denoting a person. Helen goes to work by bus, denoting a means of transportation. You need to cut the cake with a knife, denoting an instrument. Now we can also use by plus verb ing. For example, you can't prove them wrong by doing nothing. See, at, at can be used to describe aggressive behavior. Now, compare the following examples. He talked to his wife. He talked at his wife. Note that the first sentence has a neutral behavior. And in the second sentence, the preposition of manner at describes an aggressive behavior. Note that we can also use the phrase in a friendly way or manner to describe actions, as in the example below. Mrs. Anderson spoke to me in an extremely polite manner. And now, let's review and practice a bit. Remember that we use in or with to describe the way in which something is carried out. And we use by to denote either a person or a means of transportation. Now read the sentences below and fill in the blanks using the appropriate preposition of manner. The student left the class tears after being shouted at. The teacher. The next day, the teacher, tears in her eyes, was apologizing to the student. student left the class in tears after being shouted out by the teacher. The next day, the teacher, with tears in her eyes, was apologizing to the student. Now, we use by to denote either a person or a means of transportation, and we use with to denote an instrument. Now, read the following sentences and fill in the blanks using the appropriate preposition of manner. All the pies are baked, my mom. Recently, she has started baking sponge cakes. You need to whisk the dough for 30 minutes to get a nice texture, but it was too rough to do it manually. But a new mixture is truly a piece of cake. All the pies are baked by my mom. 
Recently, she has started baking sponge cake. You need to whisk the dough for 30 minutes to get a nice texture, but it was too rough to do it manually. But with a new mixture, it is truly a piece of cake. Also note that we use add to describe aggressive behavior. Now rewrite the following sentence using the preposition of manner at. Mr. Taos always talks to his employees. Neutral. Mr. Taos always talks at his employees. Aggressive behavior. Here's a short story using prepositions of manner. Listen as I read so you can see how they are used in real life conversation. After I'm done, make sure you understand all the grammar and read aloud yourself so that you can work on your own fluency and pronunciation. Alice looks amazing. How does she manage to lose weight? By exercising regularly. Was there some special diet? No, not really. For example, I go to work by bus and Alice always goes on foot. It seems obvious, but you really can lose weight by walking everywhere. Maybe I need to change my attitude to walking. I work out with pleasure because I feel like I'm definitely doing something to lose weight. But when it comes to walking somewhere, I'd rather go by car. Now, time for you to practice on your own. Read the following sentences and fill in the gaps with in, with, but, or at. A. Trying to cut a steak, a fork, is not the best idea. B. I don't like traveling long distance, car. C. Little Susie left the room. Tears after being scolded. Her parents. D. L. was telling her something, but she suddenly snapped. Him. E. Kim suddenly stopped playing and threw the ball. Noah. F. Mr. Griffith always reacts anger whenever a student makes a mistake. G. You can't make friends being grumpy all the time. Edge. This story was written Agatha Christie. I. I love Sandra's attitude to everything. She always does things a joyful manner. J. You'll actually save time going there, foot. And now, let's check your answers. Trying to cut a steak with a fork is not the best idea. I don't like traveling long distance by car. Little Susie left the room in tears after being scolded by her parents. Al was telling her something, but she suddenly snapped at him. Kim suddenly stopped playing and threw the ball at Noah. Mr. Griffith always reacts with anger whenever a student makes a mistake. 
You can't make friends by being grumpy all the time. This story was written by Agatha Christie. I love Sandra's attitude to everything. She always does things in a joyful manner. You'll actually save time by going there on foot. Thank you for watching this tutorial.